Hi everyone, today I am going to take you for a tour around our um, home from home, uh, our little caravan. It's a uh, Sprite Musketeer TD. Made by Swift. Uh, the TD stands for Twin Dining. Um, although we don't use it as a twin diner and I will show you that in a moment. So let's go and have a look around. Ours is a 2013 model and we've had it from new. And to be honest with you, uh, we've got no reason for changing it. It's a really light caravan. It weighs about, I think, 1150 kilos or 1350 fully laden. So you can tow it with uh, pretty much an average car. You don't need a big Toyota Land Cruiser. So we'll start at the front. Um, so at the front, we've got uh, the big skylight. This has a cover on that comes down. Goes up, so you get a bit more privacy, but it adds a lot more lighting. And then the big front window, which opens up and that opens up all the way all over this car and there are fly screens on everything so if we look at the door the door has a fly screen on it it just stands in the bottom at the moment and the skylights they all have fly screens the whole caravan is fly screened off so you can open the windows and the doors and still not get the flies and the mozzies um mozzies inside so this is the front this is the front lounge area the table folds up and goes into the wardrobe, cleverly stacks into the wardrobe, so you've got an open area here if you want to lounge, sit, lay, watch the television at night. Um, or you can put the table up, obviously, for eating. And uh, on the left-hand side here, underneath the storage, there is a water tank, internal water tank, um, but it does obviously connect up to the external water well. And then under the other side are the electrics. Now, in the cupboards here, another thing about this van is it has so much storage space storage space up in this one and in the other cabinet we have a bit of storage space but we've also got the stereo so we've got cd we've got auxiliary input um, radio on that I, I don't know whether that one comes as standard that one came with our caravan you can obviously put in whatever you want and then the speakers for these are up in the roof housing here and then a light leds on there um so that's that's the front of the caravan now moving on to uh the, the left hand side, I suppose, as you're moving forward. We've got more storage space up above here. We've got a, a television stand where we, we hold our television. We've got electric, both um, 12 volt power socket. We've got the TV antenna and we've got a power socket down there. And then underneath, we have a shelf, another storage cupboard, storage cupboard down the side. So that's the left hand side. Just on top of here, we've got the controls. We've got the electric controls. Our electric controls um, allow you to change, switch the power on and off. It shows you the level of the batteries or the power that's coming in at the moment and you switch the pump on and off. And you can see here, uh, can you see here the little... So it shows you that I've got electric coming into the caravan, those two are on. So if it's from the car, it would come from here and, and like... And then a vehicle battery would show on here when we connect to the vehicle battery. Over here we have the uh, controller for the water and the heating. Uh, living in Queensland, we don't use the heating all that much, um, but it's there for if you uh, if you need it if you're in colder climates. So we've got the switching from gas to electric on this side, and then we've got the temperature on this side, and they're also changeable, sort of like to a more micro detail on there. We have fire um, fire alarm and carbon monoxide alarm as well. Now the door, um, which I didn't show you on the way in, the door is a barn style door, so you can close one bit up. And you can open the top bit. Locks out of place. And uh, pull the fly screen off, whatever. Actually, one thing I didn't show you is if you don't have the table here, I can't put it up at the moment because the table's here, but there's a little bench table that um, lifts up and has a stand so you can put your drinks on it if you're just using that at night. Now moving on to the right hand side of the caravan, we have storage space up here where we've got our plates. Um, that actually has a rack, show you. that actually has the rack built in 
but you could take it out and use it for whatever you want uh, for storing plates and holes etc the middle one now we've used this middle one we've adapted it we've taken the shelf out and we've put a microwave in there um, which is extremely handy for us and then further storage on the right hand side so plenty of storage above there um, down here we've got the sink and stove the stove has three burners this works off gas three burners grill and oven underneath and a fridge which is a pretty decent sized fridge although we find we use the esky to put the drinks in to just keep them a bit cooler cutlery drawer again another storage where you keep on the right hand side that's the drainer um, for the sink you put that out and, and everything drains and then underneath at the bottom is what we use for pans so that's that's the kitchen area um, or galley I don't know whether do they call it a galley on a caravan they call it a galley on a boat I don't know whether they call it a galley on a caravan you can have a galley kitchen even in your home it just means one that's in a straight line there you go there's the galley kitchen yeah. and then next to that we have the wardrobe now, in the wardrobe here we have some shelves and then above here we've got the aerial that moves up and down and then aerial booster um, which is a little bit more signal strength and then moving on to the bathroom so the bathroom's in a corner just a, uh, a door there and um, toilet which is a cassette type goes onto the outside um, and a, a towel shelf and then we have then we have on this side we have the uh, the wash basin and the shower um, so the shower works by just putting this in here and there's a, obviously a curtain that comes across protects all your towels from getting wet and then that drains to the outside so you're holding the bottom so compact area great use toilet wash basin mirror shower all in one now this bit here the where we've got the bed is the twin dining that i mentioned earlier so this is actually um a seat at the back over here so a double seat and then a seat here single seat and then a table in the middle now the bit that you can see at the back over here is actually a bunk bed um, so this makes down into a bed as it is at the moment although we've put a mattress on here that we got from um, a rubber shop it says they said caravan mattress and we leave it like this um, because we don't need the extra beds but what it also does it converts into a double bed like this and this bit here comes up to a bunk um, for holding sort of a small child I guess and uh, or you can have just um, the single bunk at the bottom and the bunk above it and this is this Sirocco fan we put this this in extra we don't have aircon in this van um, the fan which we can swivel around and put it on the bed keep it on low keeps us nice and cool in the evening um, without the noise of the air conditioning again more storage up here more storage at the back and more storage there there's also storage under the the back bit and the storage under here as well where we put the um, uh, the bedding and, and that sort of thing um, and then there is also a curtain this here you see the track the curtain comes across here so if you've got somebody sleeping in the back and somebody sleeping in the front you can separate the areas or if you've got some children that you want to put in the bunks you can put that curtain across and keep it a bit private at night so that is our our little home from home our swift musketeer dd td and uh, i think i've covered everything here now that's the inside of the van um, now we did not elect to have the rollout awning on the side of it um, for a couple of reasons one is for the weight because we wanted to keep the weight down they obviously weigh I, don't know, I think they weigh about 30 35 kilos on top and when you've only got 100 150 kilos of payload to play with um, that doesn't leave you a lot because we keep our chairs and, and tables and that sort of thing inside so we didn't but the other reason is we like a bit more space so we have on our caravan the uh, inf inflatable camper rally air 330 um, which is a blow-up annex i'll just give you a quick show around right so this goes into the sail track at the top just feeds into the sail track and then all these stays all these over here these are all air 
So you connect the electric pump up to it, switch the pump on, blows it up to, I think, about 9 PSI, does it all automatically, and that's it. We have no external cords or anything on this. This is just sitting here at the moment. We do live in Queensland, though, so there's not a lot of breezes unless you get a cyclone coming through. Uh, so ordinarily, if we're away, um, if we're away in the caravan, we don't really need the tie downs. It, the, the weight of it actually holds it down. Um, but you can put a few pace in or a few, um, uh, a few of the, the tie downs if you want. We've also on this. We haven't got it up at the moment. But we also have two extras. We have. An extra bit that goes on the back, which is a bedroom um, where the girls sleep when they come with us. Um, I'll go. So there's a bedroom bit that goes on the back. This this area here all zips out, and the bedroom bit goes on the back again, inflatable. And then we have another bit on the front, which is the uh, an annex uh, conservatory. Um, so it's all this um, this plasticky type material um, on the front gives some extra storage space. As it's just Alison and myself away this weekend. We've just put the, we're only away for the weekend and we've just put this bit up. Um, the carpet is also a camper extra, comes with it. Actually, it doesn't come with it, you've got to buy it extra, but um, it's definitely worthwhile doing because it's a lovely, um, lovely feel under the foot and you come straight out the caravan. There's also a skirt that goes along the side of the caravan, which we've not put on this weekend because we're only here for the weekend. But the skirt goes along the side and just seals the whole thing off so you don't get the breezes coming through and it just makes it look a lot neater there's a bit that goes over the wheel as well so before we finish up there's just one other addition that i want to show you that we put on this caravan which we, we, we managed without it for a little while but after burning one clutch out reversing the caravan with with my car you, you, you know, with a more powerful car you'd probably be okay um, but despite that just for the ease of moving this caravan around we have put on caravan movers now these are superb you unhitch the caravan and you move the caravan you, you've probably seen if you're interested in caravan you've probably seen them before but i cannot stress enough just how brilliant these are and for the cost i, I can't remember what it cost I, I don't think it was that much i think it cost us about 1200 dollars if i remember rightly but let me show you these i'll show you how they go they sit behind the wheel and you move them on and off the wheel with a with a, uh, the, a lever um, a handle and you move them on and off the wheel and then you have a remote control that moves the caravan around uh, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't move them around like a remote control car you're not sort of like steering and avoiding objects it moves it fairly slowly so that you've got full control of it but you it, they are absolutely amazing love them wouldn't be without them and i'll do a separate video showing you how they work so watch out for that one so if you like this video uh, don't forget hit the like button that, that'll really help us out um, and you might even consider subscribing and hitting the notifications so that when we put new videos up you'll be notified of them straight away so for now until the next time thanks for watching <laughs>